But now the Asia Cup standoff seems to be spilling to the World Cup 2023, which India is likely to host in the month of October. As Pakistan remains defiant and continues to seek a neutral venue for the Asia Cup, the top officials of the International Cricket Council are right now in Lahore. They are in Pakistan to seek Pakistan Cricket Board's assurance that the team will be attending the World Cup in India. The ICC chair has sought guarantees from the Pakistan Cricket Board that it will not push for implementing a hybrid model for its matches in the ODI World Cup in India. Will they, won't they, a question that can only be answered with time. But I am taking this discussion further as my colleague Karishma is joining me live right now. Well, Karishma, good evening. Right now, as we speak, the top officials of the ICC are in Lahore. They are still trying to get a guarantee or a clarity from the end of the PCB, whether at all they're going to send their players to play in India. What is the line of assurance that Pakistan is trying to give and what is the reservation? Well, Samia, if you talk about reservation, Najam Sethi has made it very, very clear that if the hybrid model that has been suggested by the PCB is not accepted by the Asian Cricket Council, then uh, Pakistan will not come to India for the 50-over World Cup. In fact, it will demand that it play its matches in a neutral venue like India has been demanding uh, to play the Asia Cup in a neutral venue. Uh, PCB is going on to say that if there are security issues for India in Pakistan, then similarly, the Pakistan government will say that there are issues for the Pakistani players in India as well. So it is a really a being a tit-for-tat situation as far as Najam Sethi is concerned. But ICC chairman and CEO currently in Lahore, they've had meetings with Najam Sethi and they've asked Najam Sethi to ensure that the World Cup in India goes smoothly. Remember, the schedule for the World Cup is also to be announced during the World Test Championship or right after it, which would mean between the period of 7th to 11th June or uh, right after it. So one is waiting for a decision on Asia Cup as well after which uh, only the World Cup schedule will be announced. All eyes on Najam Sethi and the ICC uh, meeting uh, that is uh, taking place in Lahore at the moment and whether if something positive can come out with regard to the Asia Cup and then later on the 50-over World Cup in India from October onwards. Well, uh, Karishma, stay with us. I'm also joined by our guest right now. Uh, sports journalist Vidam Jayashankar is joining me right now. Mr. Jayashankar, thank you so much for taking your time and joining us here at the Daily Mirror. Uh, my first question, of course, to you would be, you know, we heard what uh, Najam Sethi had to say. Why is Pakistan taking it onto their ego? It is not a case of quid pro quo that if you come to Pakistan, only then would Pakistan be coming to India because... Uh, fortunately for Pakistan, their players are not going to face a security threat over here in India. And that is exactly the assurance that the ICC has gone to Lahore to seek uh, from the PCB. <laughs> in fact, you are absolutely right. They may be smothered with all the love that will, they will get in India. You know, that may be the only threat that they'll have. But look, uh, Najam Sethi is playing brinkmanship. You know, you really don't know what his game is and where this is heading. If it is PCB which has suggested that the Middle East be used as a neutral venue, and I, th I think he's really talking through his hat, because we know even the FIFA World Cup was moved to uh, different months, because this is not the time really to play any sport outdoors in the UAE. You know, the humidity levels will be very high, it will be very hot. It's virtually impossible to even walk outdoors, let alone play outdoors. So, it's, so that's ruled out. So maybe, yeah, you can play in Sri Lanka, but then you can play in Sri Lanka right from the beginning. Why should you play four matches in Pakistan, which is not safe, and undergo so much of hardship or trouble and money, and uh, just to play, appease Pakistan and play four matches? I think uh, it, it is a little dicey. Uh, maybe India wants to give Pakistan some sort of a saving grace, that's it. Because I don't expect India to go to Pakistan and play Besides, of course, security angle, we also have to think of the 2024 uh, elections. If India goes and plays in Pakistan, and I don't think it's going to go very well with this uh, present disposition. And uh, you can be sure that they'll never give them the visa to go, to, uh, never give, allow them the permission to enter Pakistan. So I don't think that's going to happen at all. Yeah, maybe India would uh, offer some sort of a face-saving uh, ex uh, exit for Pakistan. Maybe... Others would play maybe like uh, Dajam Sethi suggested three or four matches in Pakistan and play the rest in Sri Lanka. But otherwise, I don't think it will happen at all. And Pakistan really, I don't know what their game is because they have no money. They have no money for anything. 
they need money from cricket and you know and if they are going to hold a gun against the icc then even the revenue sharing will be in an issue they will start off the revenue sharing as minus because icc will just deduct the money from whatever they are supposed to get but i don't think the pakistan board can really withstand that kind of a loss But Mr. Jay Shankar, we've just seen the situation on ground over there in Pakistan. It was a right-like situation given Imran Khan's arrest. How does the Pakistan expect to hold, uh, you know, an Asia Cup over there in Pakistan and assure the safety of the Indian players when they can't get their house in order? And also Absolutely. the fact that India's diplomatic ties with Pakistan has suffered over the fact that they didn't act on terror-related issues pertaining to the attacks in India. Then how can Pakistan expect this sort of a bonhomie from India? Absolutely. If their core commander's house can be raided and somebody can walk off with a peacock, you really know what sort of security they have there. Last thing we want is somebody to walk into Virat Kohli's room and walk off with his bat or things like that. There's no way India can uh, enter Pakistan. I mean, they're not even interested in playing. What sort of a mindset will you have to go and play there? You know, you will not be peaceful. You will not be in the right mindset. And uh, cricket is a game played in the mind. So unless you're cool, calm, collected, there's no way you can go and play a game of cricket. And that way you're going into enemy territory when things are not going on well there. That's a nation already torn asunder. You know, the opposition is fighting the uh, uh, ruling government. The ruling government uh, is having a problem with the military. The opposition is having a lot of problem with the military. The military itself is, you know, divided into two or three camps. And that's the sort of turmoil that you have in that country. I mean, it's ridiculous for them to say it's safe to come and play. First, they have to set their house in order before they can even think of playing sport. If they cannot assure the core commander's house safety, what what safety are they talking about? I don't, I don't think we should take that seriously at all. We should just dismiss it uh, for the for the rubbish that it is. Hold that thought, Mr. Jay Shankar. Let me go back to my colleague Karishma, who still continues to be with us. Karishma, even though Pakistan maintains that there's going to be no threat to the Indian players, India has made it amply clear that the Indian players are not going to travel to Pakistan because their safety is paramount, irrespective of any tournament. Well, it's absolutely, Samia, and this dates back to 2008 when the Mumbai terror attacks happened. This was a stand that was taken then that there is going to be no relationship between India and Pakistan, whether it's sports, whether it's uh, political, whether it's diplomatic, there will be no relationship between India and Pakistan whatsoever. And this this applies only to the bilateral uh, series. Najam Sethi, in an interview with us, had said that, you know, India doesn't play bilaterally to us because of what has happened in the past, because of the terrorism that emanates from Pakistan and has hampered many Indian lives and the Indian stand continues to be that, that they will play them in ICC tournaments, they will play them in multilateral uh, tournaments but n never bilaterally and that is going to be India's stand going forward even if we take out the uh, political stand out of it like Vedam was pointing out about what happens in 2024. Even if that were to happen without that also India is never going to play with Pakistan given the stand and the situation that has been there in the past and uh, you know uh, Najah Sethi had a very uh, good answer to when we asked him about the security situation in Pakistan. He said no two cities are same. If uh, Lahore is bad, then Islamabad is okay for cricket. So he had that sort of an answer, but that is not going to be okay for ICC. They want foolproof security. ICC does full security check before hosting any tournament in any international uh, country. And given the reservation that India has, ICC, of course, will be wanting full assurances from uh, the PCB as far as security goes, but it goes without saying that India will not travel to Pakistan for any sort of tournament in the coming future. Well, absolutely, Karishma. Thank you for getting us all those uh, details. Let me go back to my colleague, uh, I beg your pardon, our guest, Mr. Jay Shankar, who still continues to be with us. Mr. Jay Shankar, you know, when we talk about India-Pakistan match, it is always an edge-of-the-seat match, and all the fans of India and Pakistan and the fans of cricket as a sport per se, they are going to feel let down if there is no India-Pakistan match in the championship. What about So that? you really can't hold the, the, an India-Pakistan match gun to somebody's head and say, no, you have to play because we want to watch India-Pakistan match. It doesn't work like that. And uh, yes, we can. We love to watch India-Pakistan match. And so do the sponsors. So do the uh, telecast people. So do, so do everybody, you know. They have uh, money in the game. They have skin in the game. Everything is there. 
provided it is in a peaceful location. You can't have a situation like we had in England a few months ago when uh, actually, I, th I think it was at Birmingham, when the crowds got violent after the match. Now, that's not on. You know, you're making a nuisance of yourself even in somebody else's country. And why should the Indian uh, spectators, Indian sponsors, Indian players bear the brunt of it? Now, Pakistan has to look at themselves first. They need peace. They are not even capable of holding their PSL across their country. Their PSL is held in just two or three cities with all sorts of security, and they move in bunches. Now, that, now that's not cricket. On the other hand, you can see the way our IPL is held. It's openly held all over, and you see the players, the foreigners, everybody going all over the country. You know, they go to Goa, they go, they go and play golf, they do, uh, they go on safari tour. I mean, they're everybody. There's nobody stopping them from anybody. We had photos of these guys uh, posing in front of the Taj. Now, that is what a cricket thing should be. Unfortunately, Pakistan is not in such a situation right now. Maybe in the next 10 years, things will get better. But right now, it's not good. And why would you like to go and try that? We've already seen so much of violence, you know, which has happened during sporting tours. Poor Sri Lanka, they themselves bore the brunt of a gun attack in Pakistan, the Sri Lankan cricketers, and uh, the game was called off for such a long time. So I think Pakistan needs to sort itself out. Yes, I, I'm sure they would love to play against India. They would love India to come and play in Pakistan. All that is fine. But first, get your house in order. You ensure that there is peace and tranquility before you can go and invite people across the world to come to your city or come to your town and, you know, uh, make merry. It's just not possible right now. So be realistic. Yes, India would love to play Pakistan. Yes, we'd love to play Pakistan in India. Fair enough. But right now, we don't want to go to Pakistan. Not at all. And this idea of neutral venue, I mean, it makes no sense if we are trying. See, look, uh, whether it is Sri Lanka, whether it is uh, Bangladesh, or whether it's Pakistan, they're not in a good situation. Their cricket boards, I mean, are not in a good situation. So why would you want them to go or fly in and out, in and out? Play it in one city, play it in one country, Bangladesh or even pa Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka could do with a lot of tourism. Sri Lanka could do with a lot of money. And nothing like an Asia Cup to get the tourists going, the hotel industry going, the transport industry going, you know, their flights going. And that'll be great for them. So if Pakistan wants to do something, let them try and help pa Sri Lanka. Maybe after some time, maybe in the next cycle or cycle after that, when peace and tranquility returns to Pakistan they can consider hosting a, another Asia Cup. But until then, I think India would be foolish even to try and venture into Pakistan. Well, uh, we shall still wait to see that the likelihood of Pakistan holding the Asia Cup now is very slim. But we are going to be reporting on all the developments taking place as to what is going to be the assurance that PCB is going to be giving it to ICC. Thank you so much, Mr. Jay Shankar, for taking your time and joining us here at the Daily Mirror. And with that, we're slipping into a short break right now. Lots more lined up. Stay tuned and keep watching Mirror Now.